With the increase of oral and oropharyngeal cancer, it's really important that we give our patients a lymph node exam prior to doing our oral examination. So the way we go about this, we have our patients naturally sitting right underneath of us. So visually we can see how the anatomy looks, looking for any uh, bilateral differences between the anatomy or the musculature, and also looking for any swellings that could be evident. Now, uh, to do the lymph node examination, I'm gonna use my fingers, the pads of my fingers only, and I'm gonna place them in the respective areas. And I'm going to either do a circular motion of palpation, or I'm just going to pad as I travel along and check each respective area. I'm starting off in the preauricular area. I'm gonna go right around the ear to the posterior auricular area. And as I come down, I'm going to move anteriorly to the angle of the mandible. And I'm gonna follow the border of the mandible anteriorly, checking all of those nodes. First off, I'm going to be squeezing the skin in that area down to the submental area. As I come back, I'm going to not go as much with my thumbs, but I'm going just maybe a little bit more inferior to the border of the mandible and slightly medial. And as I come back to the border of the mandible, what I'd like to bring your attention to is the location of the jugulodigastric node. It's located just underneath the angle of the mandible. It's the largest lymph node in the chain. And it's the one that really reflects a lot of disease patterns when it's available. So I'm coming down, checking that area underneath the border of the mandible, underneath the angle of the mandible, looking for the jugular digastric node, and then following the sternocleidomastoid muscle anteriorly until I get to the supra, clavicular area and then I come back and switch to the posterior area of the SCM muscle until I get back to the occipital area. After that things are feeling very well so we can go on to our intraoral exam. Now Andrea is of normal height and weight, good muscle definition. Sometimes our patients might have a greater mass that require us to manipulate the position. In that case I'm going to have the patient turn to the left that allows me to get a little bit more deep to the anterior of the sternocleidomastoid muscle and also across the other side where they are turned. And I'll have them turn the other way to check the same thing on the angle that they've turned from and on the angle that they've turned towards. Thank you, Andrea. I'll have you come back up. So really important to do the lymph node examination prior to uh, doing any oral examination just due to the fact that we can't see the oral pharyngeal area. And a painless swelling mass in the neck is usually our first evidence signs of any type of carcinomic episode. So thank you very much.